Nurse says six people who live in a Denton County neighborhood say an unstable man is terrorizing a neighbor by throwing food on her property, yelling racist verbal attacks and more. And now they're demanding the sheriff's office do more to protect her. Maria Guerrero spoke to the woman who says she can't even stay in her own home right now. Stacy Livingston says she is being terrorized by a neighbor to the point she had to flee her home and stay at a hotel over the weekend. I have um, gone through so much emotional trauma at this point that um, I, I don't feel protected uh, by law enforcement. Um, my neighbors are the ones who have stepped in to try to help me. And it is a neighbor's home surveillance camera that captures some of Livingston's claims. This man walking toward her home near Frisco, repeatedly yelling racial slurs. He's saying, gotta see her, gotta see it. That's my, that's my, gotta see And so he has something in his hand, food or whatever, and he throws it onto my driveway. Livingston says she and her son had always been friendly with the odd neighbor down the road, never had issues. But since last Wednesday, she's become his target. And singing, gotta kill, gonna kill, dog food. She says her home has also been vandalized. A cable box was ripped up. Someone spray painted the N-word on her driveway, though neither were caught on camera. She and frightened neighbors have called 911 several times. One of the sheriffs said, I just suggest, ma'am, that you stay away uh, from the house for a couple of days until this blows over. I begged the cops. I said, it's horrible. And Ms. Livingston has a genuine fear for her life. Livingston's attorney says law enforcement should investigate this as a hate crime. They've been alerted to this dozens of times over the weekend, over the last week, really, and have failed to take any serious action. I just feel like my life doesn't matter. Ms. Stacy, what is your biggest fear in all of this? Losing my life, um, my biggest fear was my safety. We asked the Denton County Sheriff's Office about these allegations and what is being done. Here is their response. We are aware of the situation. This case is under investigation. Maria Guerrero, NBC5. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this beautiful Friday. I'm doing real good myself. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worshiping the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. People, let's get some worship and praises in. We definitely need it, not only individually, but as a collective. You understand? Because there's a lot of things that needs to change. And the only way they're going to change is then when we start getting some worship and pray, you know, prayers in and praises in to the Most High. Because as we know, as it said, that when prayers go up, blessings come down. And we need blessings. Now, let's get into this particular story and address it. White man in Texas harasses black woman at her home. Law enforcement tells her to stay at a hotel. Bullshit on so many levels. I'm not staying no motherfucking where. And that goes to show you right there what law enforcement is really all about. You see, they want to let these white racist motherfuckers run the streets, you know, and commit all kinds of acts of tyranny, you understand, and intimidation on lowly black women, you know. But this is a strong black woman right here, but uh, you're not strong enough, sister. Get a man. Get a black man that's stronger because that's where you should be anyway. And I'm going to just come out and say it. Yeah, you need to be with a black man because I mean a strong black man. You see, because that's what you was made for in the first place. You know, that's what that is, because I'm going to tell you something. They told this sister and y'all heard in that video that she should go and stay away from her home for a couple days until this thing blows over. It's not going to blow over. Until something happens. And it looks like to me it has every, all the, the, the genetic makings of Deshaun Douglas, you know, situation. And for those of y'all don't know nothing about uh, Sean Douglas, it's a video that I did about a couple, about a week or two ago. 
And I'll put that video in the description box and you guys can check it. I'll put the link in the description and you can check it out. You see? As a matter of fact, that's what needs to happen. That's exactly what needs to happen. Because this whoever this motherfucker is right here, the, the, the weird neighbor down the road, you understand? They already want to write him off, you know, as being, well, he's a little disturbed. That motherfucker know what he's doing. He know exactly what he's doing. See? But see, what Stacey Livingston needs to understand is that she has a right to fear for her life. She has a right to protect her, 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 her home and anybody who's in it, your child, all of that. Let's get into this story right here. A black woman in Texas has had to leave her home after facing racial harassment from a white man in her neighborhood. Oh, wait a minute. Let me say this before I forget. Although we might run up on it again in the story, but I'm going to say it anyway. Did y'all notice that she th she said that she thought, basically, her and the man was cool and her, uh, her son thought this motherfucker was cool. You ain't never cool with no motherfucker like this. That was your first mistake, thinking you cool with him. You ain't never cool with him. See? If the Most High told you this is who your enemy is, you better take heed to that. Now, to continue, according to NBC uh, DFW5, Stacy Livingston resides in a neighborhood in Denton County where one of her white neighbors begins shouting racial slurs at her home. The man was at the door saying, I'll explicative your daughter for a dollar. Livingston told NBC DFW5 is known that he has mental health issues and that he harasses people. She said she's not clear what led to these incidents as she and her son have been friendly to the man. With her son even helping him when he had a broken foot. His bitch ass will have more than that when I get rid of, I, when I get finished with him. You see what I'm saying? He knows exactly what he's doing. Like I said, they're already trying to play this off as some kind of mental illness. You know what? Well, that's the fucking case. All races have mental illness. Let's continue. The outbursts have been ongoing, and one of the Livingston neighbors has managed to capture some of them on their ring camera. He's saying, got to feed a nigger. Got to feed a nigger. That's my nigger. Explicative. And he has food or whatever in his hand and he's, he throws it into my driving way. Livingston told NBCD FW5 of one of uh, the videos. The neighbors who chose to remain anonymous for safety captured another one of the outbursts as well. He said, I'm going to kill me a nigger and make her into dog food. The neighbor told NBCD F5, um, FW5, um, our kids ride their bikes in the, the street and play football and catch. And I had to tell them this past weekend, sorry, we can't go outside because I don't know what he's going to do. You're going to let this motherfucker right here keep you at bay in your home. No, no, uh-uh, you know, see, oh man, well, let me, I'm going to say this right here too. There's a lot of black women, you know, I've seen the attitudes with, uh, 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 when a black man tried to tell them something, you know, or what have you, you know, motherfucker this, motherfucker that, the fuck, you know, why you ain't out there saying that shit to him? I ain't saying all black women like that. But let's see some sister girl attitude with this bitch ass motherfucker. And when you do, be strapped. And stop playing this old passive ass uh, attitude uh, of fucking fear and oppression. This shit ain't getting us nowhere as a people. Talking about you, you if you really, really fear for your life. Know what, 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 you, what she said in that damn video. Talking about uh, what she fear her life going to be taken. And you're looking at it the wrong way. What you were supposed to say, well, I fear... If I have to kill this motherfucker right here, they're going to lock me up for defending myself. 
And you should rather have it that way. To continue, the harassment hasn't just been verbal either. As Livingston home also has been vandalized, she said that a cable box was ripped up and the phrase scary nigger was spray painted on her driveway along with other insults. So he already know you scared of me. This is why the motherfucker is doing this shit. This is why he's doing it because he know he's got you fucking petrified already. You see, I fought the police for this shit. She's going through all of the channels to make this publicly known and also, you know, to the police. They ain't doing a damn thing about it. They should be even sued. They supposed to be, they got this motherfucker on camera doing all this on, on video and doing all this shit and they ain't doing a damn thing. What good are they? This woman do pay taxes. You understand what I'm saying? For them to, 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 to serve and protect. Now to continue, in case you're wondering, yes, the police have been notified multiple times actually. Care to know what the Denton County Sheriff's Office told her the last time they showed up? One of the sheriffs said, I just suggest, ma'am, that you stay away from the house for a few days until this blows over. Livingston told the news outlet, bullshit. To continue, why does a situation have to escalate for white people to finally feel like they should do something about it? There is video evidence of the claims. Her neighbors are uh, co-signing that this dude is scary. That bitch ain't scary. He ain't just read, he ain't read up on the right one yet. He ain't scary. To continue, why isn't acting being taken? Why isn't action being taken? Harassment typically doesn't just blow over. And I know for damn sure that if it were a black man harassing a white woman, that dude would probably be going to jail. Yeah, of course, or probably kill. Who who knows? You know what I'm saying? In conclusion, Livingston did stay at a motel at a hotel over the past weekend and has hired an attorney to see what her legal avenues are. First of all, sue the fucking police for not doing anything about it. To continue, she told the news outlet that she's received more support from her neighbors than law enforcement. I just feel like my life doesn't matter to them, she said of law enforcement. Livingston expresses that, well, Livingston expressed that she fears for her life and is concerned about what the potential consequences would be if she, as a black woman, had to take matters into her own hand. If I were to have a well, if I were to have to take matters into my own hands because the cops wouldn't do anything, what would that look like for me? What would that look like for a black woman that documented every time and you don't do anything? And if he comes back to my house and trying to hurt me and I have to take matters into my own hands, Livingston told NBCD, uh, NBCDFW5, then you take matters into your own hand. You fear for your life and your safety and you know the rest. And pray for the best to the most high for the outcome. And I'm sure he will deliver you. You know what you got to do. You a strong black woman. You out there by yourself. Well, you're going to have to take care of business for yourself. That's what it is. You know? That's just what it is. You're going to have to get down for yourself. It's fucked up because you should have a man. You you should have a man right there. See, if you had a man, more than likely the fucker wouldn't have did this shit, especially if he's, he, he could see that he's a strong black man. That ain't going to put up with no bullshit like this. See, because he knows if he did some shit like that with a strong black man in the house, more than likely his ass would be stretched out in that damn street somewhere. That's just what it is, you know? But at the very least thing that the woman has done right, she's made it known to the public she's been harassed. She has proof and documentation. 
It's all in the damn news media and every damn thing else. So, hey, if you have to stress this motherfucker out, then, like I said, may the most high be with you and deliver you, you understand, where you can walk through the judicial system without being harmed and going about your damn life. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. I'm interested to hear your thoughts, your views, and your opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, people. Please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James and I'm out. Peace.